Version 2022. Taking structure. Showares AAC versus Peter Obis LP by Jomi. In this just concluded election, though late, I focused my gaze on the alternatives or parties that are posing to be alternatives to APC and PDP that are always fighting one another on social media, and that is Omoyele Showares AAC and Peter Obis Labour Party may have argued that structure win elections, and I think I would agree now more than before. The shown election has come and gone, with the PDP winning its another round of upcoming suffering for the Nosh for Oshun people. The name of the sufferer just changed, but that is not my focus in this post. In this just concluded election, though late, I focused my gaze on the alternatives or parties that are posing to be alternatives to APC and PDP that are always fighting one another on social media, and that is Omoy Elishowaris AAC and Peter Obi's Labour Party. Many have argued that churches win elections, and I think I would agree now more than before. As a close observer of both parties, it did not take time for me to realize the low visibility the AAC has in many areas of the state. During my investigation, I found out that the party was in court almost after the general elections of 2019 and the name of the candidate for the Oshun elections was supposedly that of an impostor. I also confirmed from John Wan, my friend in Ife, who is a close ally of Shoari, the position of things. When the party won in court against the hijackers, it was later already to change the name of the impostor candidate in Oshun. The the morale was low after AAC stakeholders realized the INEC thing. The party belly campaigned. Even the social media engagement that is it is known for was low. I learned all this were in protest of the inability of INEC to change the name of the imposter candidate after the party was secured in court on June 3rd, 2022. Olufemi Johnson, the substantive candidate of the AAC, contested against a former deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Lawson Yusuf, who one time was in APC, another time PDP. This is important to note, and I hope you are following. Now to the result. Shawari's party pulled 2,148 votes. Y. Peter Obi's Labour Party pulled 2,729 votes. That of the AAC could be understood, but what could have been the reason for the woeful performance of Obi's party despite feeding a grassroots politician? Did Obi then think they can win presidency for Obi without showing strength in action? or there are no bident in Oshun. Even in students' areas where they have data to be on Twitter spaces, Obi's party performed woefully. Mind you, Peter Obi was present at the mega rally. Shaware did not lift a finger, did not come to Oshun for any mega rally, no posters, yet put more votes in many areas than a Peter, than Peter Obi's candidate, the former deputy speaker, who campaigned throughout even in Oshobo, the capital. AAC put 130 against Labour Party 79. The gap in many local governments was reasonable. For both of them, there were no party agents to monitor the process. These things matter. But from this result, it is clear that if they were no interpretations in the operation of the AAC party for these three years, with government agents trying to hijack the party, 
it is most likely Shawares AA will beat the Labour Party seemly and might whistle with the PDP and APC in their strongholds. And this talk about vote for candidates, not party, is narrative or political whatever. Party matters. The ideology of the party matters. The candidate also matters. Now, tell me objectively, objectively, objectively who has structures? Who should collapse his structure to support the other? As many have been calling Nigerians who seek alternatives to PDP or APC must get serious before the 2023 elections to avoid cries of rigging after the election. Akinde Jomo writes from Ide Ocean State. Meanwhile, Nigerians have this to say. It is a, res it's a result to every obedient family to tag Mr. Obi alongside with Shomari because light and darkness has nothing in common. Talk not of that so, uh, Sahara reporters show some respect when tagging Mr. Obi. If anyone genuinely loves this, this come three will see reasons with Obi and support him. All I see now is greediness, self-interest, and mostly Shawari is full of envy. He feels he has been on the race before Obi and probably thought Obi hijacked the youth. He was gruesomely grown. But if Shawari put aside envious minds and probably have has has love for his nation, he will join forces not to try to bring Obi down to gain your grant. If there is nothing I love about Obi is his credibility and ability to in intensify what the nation is passing and failure ahead and how to tackle it. He does not have time to bring down any political politician before he tells you his manifesto. So when you see empty politicians, it is not hard to identify them. The way every politician has focused on Peter Obi and they try to bring him down is worrisome. Just ask them what they will do for the nation. Hear them face and discuss Obi when you ask to discuss the nation. All I see is that Obi movement, God is involved. God can lift anyone higher than human's thought. Okay, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Okay, talking about the ocean state, like as I said before in one of my videos, that people voted for Adeleke because of his person. They vote according to the candidates, not the party. Because PDP, the same thing with APC. You know, people are now comparing these ocean states based on what, Maya, what will happen in the federal level. But what they fail to understand is that Nigerians are tired of this APC and PDP party. Tinubu is no go area. Atiku Abubaka is no go area. So Peter Obi remains the only credible candidate. But anyway, let's see how it goes. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.